Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. In this week's video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at looking at surface material sounds um, when they're hit. So what I mean by that is if we shoot something that's made of concrete, it'll sound like a concrete type hit. Or if we shoot something that's metal, it'll give more of a metallic hit, um, specifically for when we shoot. But you can also use this for if you're doing melee or anything really to, to do with sort of collisions. Um, with that being said, let's just jump straight into it. So firstly what we need to do is just quickly set up the first person shooter. Um, I was going to skip this one but I thought my previous video has some music playing over it and some people don't like that. And it's quite quick to, to cover so um, let's just do that. So what I'm doing here is with the first person template I'm just disconnecting the fire from the spawn projectile. And then from the press key uh, I'm going to do a line trace, line trace by channel. And then for the start location, I'm just going to grab the first person camera from the side here. From that, I'm going to do a get world location. Plug that into start. Also, from the first person camera, I'm going to get a forward vector. Essentially, this just gets the direction that the camera is facing. So then what we need to do is we need to times this by a floor and this will give us our weapon range in the right direction. I'm just going to put in 5,000 and then what we need to do is we need to, this is basically a direction of an end, end point, we need to add that then to our original position to get, a, um, to get almost a line and that's our end position. We're then going to set the draw debug type to for duration and then just drop this menu down here and set the draw time to 2. If we pick compile and play we should see now we've got a line trace on the screen. Um, now it doesn't quite meet the crosser and that's because of if we go back to the first person BP blueprints folder and go to the first person HUD because this originally shoots a projectile they've set um, they've set like an offset you just need to get rid of that so watch delete the whole thing and plug that back in here hit compile hit play and now it should line up with the crosser Yep, so that's close enough. Uh, that's fine. So from that, then what? What I'm? What if? <laughs> if you want to, what you can do is do a play sound at location. Now this is really just to get the feel of you're actually shooting. Select the asset from a drop down and type in fire. Now the first person template by default comes with like a gunfire sound. Uh, if we click this magnifying glass, it'll take you to that. Double click it. I like to set mine to 0.1 because I think it's well too loud. Um, and I'm going to set the location to the camera world location. Hit con uh, compile and play. And now you can hear that we've got that typical shooting sound that you normally would have. So essentially here you've just set up um, a line trace weapon system rather than a projectile based. So this is where the uh, material part comes in. So, if we go back to our main map here, um, and just for just for example's sake, let's say all these white cubes um, are going to be made of metal, and all the walls and the floors are going to be made of concrete. So with these cubes selected, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this first cube, and then I'm going to select the bottom cube, and we need to give it a physics material. Now, by default, there are a few that are already set up. Um, is there a metal one? I don't think there is a metal one. So what we'll do is we'll make one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to my default contents folder. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to physics. And I'm going to go to physics material. There's only one option. to select physics material. Select that. I'm going to name my PM for physics material underscore metal. Metal. While I'm here, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to make a second one. Physics material. Physics material. Select. And I'm going to put PM concrete. Concrete. There we go. That'll do for the two of them. And then if you double click this, you should get this window. And you'll see here you've got a surface type. Now, 
by default it is selected default uh, and there are no other options to add more entries into this what you need to do is open up your project settings on the left hand side you've got physics and then if you want to scroll down to the bottom you'll see that you've got surface types and this list allows you to add 62 different surfaces um, obviously the first one's being default you cannot overwrite that but surface type number one I'm going to set to metal and then for a second one I'm going to put concrete yep so now back in the PM metal that we've just made drop that down select metal hit save you can close that now that, that's all done go to PM concrete and at the same time select that to concrete save that's your physics materials complete so I'm going to close that and just quickly I'm just going to change my editor preferences to um, main window here for open location essentially that just prevents new windows from opening on my second screen um, that's just an additional tip for you there okay so We've got all of these cubes highlighted still. If you haven't, just select Edit a Cube and hold Shift and click on the top topmost one and you should select everyone in between. Now with your physics material, you can select None and type in PM and we want to select Metal. So now all of these cubes have been associated the surface Metal. And again, I'm going to select a wall. I'm going to click the top wall there, and then I'm going to hold shift and click on all the walls. And I'm going to select surface, uh, physics material, and I'm going to type PM. I'm going to do PM concrete. I've now assigned all the walls and floor concrete. So now what we can do is back into our first person character. Um, what we want to do is we want to get the line trace but we want to break the out hit so if you drag off break should be a result drop that down and um, basically the line trace whenever it hits something it takes all this data whatever hit what type of physics material has it got what's the impact location and all that sort of stuff so really what we want to do is we want to duplicate this play sound we want to say I want to play the sound where a hit and the sound that I want to play is going to be dependent on what material that I, I hit. So what we can do is if we drag off the physics material, we can type in surface type. And essentially what this will do is every time it hits something, it'll check what surface type it is. And we can plug this into what's called a select node. Uh, select node. Now you can see, because I've done that, it's, it's gone it's determining like the surfaces that are available are concrete metal and a default so let's set that return value into sound and now it knows that it's looking for sound assets so basically if the surface type is metal I want you to play this sound if it's concrete I want you to play this sound so let's quickly just add some sound files so again I'm just gonna right click import to game now I've got a bit of a collection of various sounds. I've got game assets, audio, and I've got bullet hits. Um, we'll go for metal, and number one will do for me. I'm gonna right click, import, and I'm gonna go back to bullet hits and go to wall, and I'm gonna get number one and number five. I'm gonna import both of them. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play these and just check them out. That's fine for metal. That's okay for a wall. And that's a subtly different wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna say for default, I'm gonna have wall five. For concrete, I'm gonna have wall one. And for metal, I'm gonna have, I think I've only got one metal thing. So metal. So now essentially, whenever I shoot something, depending on what its surface type is, depends on what sound is going to play. So we'll connect that in. And let's try it. So if I shoot a block now, I get this. And if I shoot the wall, I get that. And if I shoot something like the sky, I get another concrete type hit. 
So let's just fix that. And obviously we get an error as well because the sky didn't have a physics material. So what we want to do is we want to say is valid with the question mark. And this is basically if, if we shoot something, check to see if it has a, a valid physical material. If it does, play a sound. If it doesn't, don't play a sound. So now if we hit compile and play, we get metal, we get wall, and we just get a gunfire. So there's no sound now. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to swap um, these two around because I, I actually prefer them the other way around. The concrete hit should sound a bit punchier, and I think it is. Now, one additional thing here. That's basically the, the goal of this video done. But one additional thing... That is the same metal hit every time, and that's gonna get really boring really quick. So what you can do is, if you press this magnifying glass and go to your um, audio files, what you can do is you can right click and you can create what's called a cue. If you double click that and go into it, what a cue does essentially is it takes your, your, your audio file or your, you know, your, your sound file and it allows you to just modify it slightly. Now, one very easy, quick and easy, subtle change you can do is modulation. If you drag that in and plug this in line, essentially now, every shot is gonna pick a random pitch between 0.95 and 1.05. And this is gonna subtly change the sound so it's not repetitive. And this is an example. Every shot is subtly different, and you can you can even make this a little bit more exaggerated, if if need be. So now, if you go back and play, when you shoot in metal, you know what? I've just fell into my own trap there. I forgot to assign the metal sound to the cue, so I'm just going to drop that down and type metal. And you'll see there's now a metal hit and a metal cue. Make sure you select metal cue. Pick that, compile, play. But that wall's still boring. So now what you can do is you can go to your wall hit five, create a cue. Double click that, chuck in a modulation. Hit save, and now your wall's less boring too. It doesn't make that much of a difference for the wall hit. However, that's it for me today. Uh, this was a quick one, bit of a fly through. If, if there was anything in this video that was a little bit too quick and you want me to explain a bit more about, please leave a comment down, down below and I'll get that sorted. Um, if it wasn't, consider giving me a, a, a like or a uh, consider subscribing if you want to see more also down below in the description box you'll see some social links discord being one of them if you want to stop by have a chat um, or if you're getting stuck on anything uh, not necessarily to do with this video but about anything else just drop a message in there if i can help you i will if i can't i'll tell you um but that's it for me thank you for watching and i'll see you next week